Hello and welcome back to Narrowboat Florence Rose. It's a beautiful July day. I'm here on the Grand Union Canal and I thought to myself, I've got some bits of spare wood and if you notice the box in the background, I've been making myself some roof boxes. So I thought for the second one, I'll do a bit of video and show you how I'm doing it. Um, I am using different bits of wood from the wood that you can see behind me but it won't make much difference anyway because I'll be staining and maybe doing a top varnish or I might even paint them. So let's crack on and make us a nice new roof box. Right then, got all my wood. I'm gonna measure it out because we're doing it so it's basically 67 inches long and 40 inches wide. These that I'm doing are currently the legs. So I'm obviously going to need four of these. Let me measure that actually. Okay, that's good. So we'll get two legs out of this one because the wood that's going on the top, so you imagine the slat and the slat, they're both four inches and four doubled is eight plus two inches for the bottom of the, the, uh, the box. So 10 in total. Okay, we've got some nice straight lines. Right, I've got to cut these, so I'll just cut one of them so you can see what I'm actually doing. Now this is a 4 inch G clamp so it just about fits the wood. Right, don't want it too tight, we're not going too mad with it. Get a nice straight line. Okay, that's one. Right, that's all the legs done. As you can see, this length, and I've got three this length, <laughs> it's uh, very long. It's 213 inches long, those are. So I just thought I'd show you the actual size of them. Ground over here is really uneasy, so you have to watch what you're doing. problem here is trying to cut this and hold the wood so I don't want it splitting and breaking okay <laughs> okay so we've measured it up I'm going to move it down slightly there we go So each side is going to be 67 inch long, which means the end piece is going to be 40 inches long because the width of the top of my boat is 41 inches. So 40 inches, that's as big as I want to go with it to be honest. Right then, I'm going to quickly 
measure this up and just a screw just to see what we've got. Right, I've got another 67. So I'm going to get three out of this piece, I think. So I'm going to cut this one. I'll cut the next one so we've got four sides and then we'll carry on with the rest. Right, as you can see, we've got the side, we've got one end piece in, so I'm going to make a pilot hole for this side. We can get that for about, about there, I think. Right then, as you can see, all the legs are on. I've tipped it upside down because I'm going to fix the next piece of wood onto these parts here, then obviously the side parts. So we'll do a bit of videoing and I'll show you that bit next, folks, I think. Right then, let's get this end piece on. So basically all it's going to do is sit there like so. The next piece of wood will go there. Okay, get a couple of pilot holes drilled, make sure that's lined up, looking pretty good so far. Okay, right, we're going with the three inch screws. Oh, hay fever's playing up today, sniffing like a good one. that up because that's rocking around. Love the job plate. Right, let's do this side. Two more three inch ones. Oh, well done. Oh. Some crawling in my ear. The lovely jubbly. And you see the gap? That's the two inch feet because that's going to sit on the bottom. So that's plenty of room, that is. Brilliant, that is. Right. one on this side. Right then, here we've got the bottom boards which are going to go the full length. Everything that goes in the boxes are going to sit on these but they are a bit big so we're going to cut them down to size. I'm not using the workmate bench because I can just cut them quite easily. Right, I've brought some smaller screws over for this. I'm not going to countersink any of these because this ply board isn't all that massive to be fair, thickness wise. So I'm not going to go too mad into them. One more, I think. Lovely job, Lee. Right, four for the other side now. Right then, bottom panels are on. I've put a centre piece in the middle, just to keep it all up right. Now this is going to waggle about a bit because the ground is extremely uneven over here. Now of course, it is upside down. Once it's on the boat, I'll give you 
a better look at it. So, oh, I've only got to get it all the way over there now. Right then, that is the finished result. Plenty of room for my wood, a bit of storage, but there's actually two full-size solar panels going on there. I'll be putting them on with the brackets and having them to the side because, as you can see, that's two layers of chopped wood, that is. Obviously, the stuff in the box that I built today, that won't be in there. I've just put that in there for the time being for a bit of storage type of thing. But, yeah, um, I'm going to sort out the solar. They'll be going on there, the solar will. So, I know the wood doesn't match, but at the end of the day, it's all free wood. It's all treated and it's all good stuff. It's absolutely solid, bone dry. I'm really happy with that. A lick of nice paint on there, a couple of coats, a nice top on it i.e. the solar and you ain't going to notice any difference they're going to look quite good and like I say the bonuses they're all free so hope you enjoyed that one folks if you did don't forget to come back to the channel and I'll see you in the next video so bye for now from Narrowboat Florence Rose